hello hello beautiful and wonderful people how are you all doing yes i know you are good i know you are good because if god be for you and i who can be against us nobody nobody we are coming as strong daily to the glory of the lord my old and my new subscribers you all are welcome if today is the first time you have seen those face my name is sister divine you are welcome to this channel in this channel we do every good things that is good for eyes ear nose that is good for every time that is good you see it in this channel. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We do everything in this channel to the glory of the Lord. You are welcome. So today, I want to talk to you how to avoid anger and why you must avoid anger. It's very, very necessary. If we did not finish in this session, we are going to continue from the next session, okay? Anger is very, very bad. Anger can do a lot of things to you. First and foremost, let's look at what anger will do to you. Anger will make you take wrong decision. Anger will can destroy your marriage as a person. Anger can make you to lose a lot of good, good friends. Anger can make you to do everything that is not good. Anger can make you to lose a great, a good job. Anger can make you to lose things that is special. Because when you are angry, you will always take decision wrongly. In your marriage, as individual, when you are always angry, that home will not be peaceful because why everything you angry about it it's very very uh, uh, good to deal with it anger is not is not bad because everybody have that angry spirit because if you don't have that angry spirit the word of god could have not said he said be angry but see not he said be angry but see not so if you are angry the reaction towards it what you have in your mind towards that anger is very very important the bible says be angry but see not let not the sun goes down upon your rocks so if you are angry you must control yourself you must say god help me let the grace of god help me because anger is very very dangerous anger can pull you down even in marriage maybe your spouse or anyone offends you Think before you talk. The word of God says, be slow, be, before you speak, you have to think very well before you think. He said, a fool utter everything that is, is in her heart or his heart. So you must not utter anything that is coming to your heart that time you are angry. You know that the devil is very tricky. The moment you are angry, he will start bringing a lot of things, a lot of things that will make you to provoke more that time you will start bringing it so how you will deal with it is to be calm is to be calm because when you are calm you see it will be very difficult it will be very easy to, to to get rid of because anger can make you to be sick anger can put a lot of sickness i brought pedro a lot of sickness inside of you because why the person you are angry towards anytime you see that person you react so it can make you to have heart failure. It can make you to have a lot of things. The word of God, no. God knows that. That's why he said we should not let the sun go down upon our rocks. He says, he said, he said, eh, 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 the anger lies in the, in, the, in the body of a fool. And we are not a fool. We are not a fool. You must avoid anger by any means. You must avoid it. Anything that will make you to be angry, anything that will make you to, 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 to always be angry, you have to stay away from it. So, how, how, how are you going to help yourself out of anger? Is to read the word of God. When you read the word of God, the Bible will help you. God will help you. And you must learn to slow to talk. Learn to slow to talk. It's very, very important. Maybe your spouse or individual says something to you. Don't react the way it is in your heart. Don't react because when you react, you can utter a word that will be so, so, so bad that any time you have realized yourself, so bring it back, it will be very difficult. And you cannot bring word back. Sometimes the children do a lot of things that can provoke you. Sometimes a friend or individual can do a thing that can provoke you. Sometimes your husband, your wife can do something that can provoke you. But that time, you must be humble, you must be calm. Because if you are not calm, you can take wrong decision. Why do you need to be calm? You need to be calm. You need to be, you need to be calm for God to walk through you. Because God cannot walk in the body. The, the person that, that the body is full of anger. 
Because an angry person is dangerous. When you don't control yourself, when you are angry, you can do anything that time. And later, you will start to regret it. And which is not good. You can take a decision, later you will start to regret it. You must try to avoid anything that will bring anger to you. If you know that you are angry, talk about it with your spouse. Talk about it with your pastor. Pray about it. Fast about it. Because it's not a good spirit. Have you heard something before? Somebody, will, Some people will just say, that is just me. When I just talk, when I'm angry, I say it. I just say it the way it is. No, it's not of God. It's not of God. You have to deal with it. The, the, the word of God says, a, a fool utters everything that is in her heart, in her mouth. That moment you are angry, you off everything you just say. You are not controlling yourself. An angry person don't care to fight in the market. Don't care to fight in the street. In the streets. You cannot tell me that is of God. You have to pray about it. You have to be determined for God to deliver you out of it. Because anger is very, very bad. When you are angry with your children, when you are angry with someone, or when you are angry with a friend, something happened, calm down. Just bring your head down. Don't take decision the way it is, is, is happening to you. Don't take decision because the devil is very tricky. He comes to bring a lot of things to your heart that time. Can you, why, why can't you do it this way? Why can't you do this way? Why can't you do this way? The devil will be pushing you. That time is the time that the word of God says, resist it, it will flee from you. It's coming to your mindset to tell you what you will do wrong. You have to resist it, it will flee from you. When somebody makes you angry, instead of you to talk, that time you have to go inside your house or just go quiet place. You, sometimes just take a stroll. Sometimes go and swim. Sometimes just walk around. Sometimes put a sweet, a, a good Christian music or the music you love. Just put it and listen. Just, just relax your head. Because anger is very, very bad. When you use anger to destroy your job, your children, it's very, very bad. And the children, it's very, very bad even as a couple. When you are always angry as a man, you shout for your wife all the time. You say, that is just me. It's not you. Or as a woman, you shout for your husband at any time. You are angry. You are provoked. You don't want to hear anything at all. Before you know, you are provoked. All, all that is in your heart is just to kill, just to fight, just to destroy, just to do that. It's not good as a person. You must learn to avoid it. You must learn to stay away from it because it's not of God. It's not of God at all. God wants us to forgive people. If somebody has offended you, you have that angry spirit in you for long. You have not let go. You are not going anywhere. Because why? The word of God says, forgive them their trespasses so that our Heavenly Father can forgive you also. So there is something, there is something you have to forgive. When you forgive, God will forgive you also. You see, if my people that are called by my name, we turn their way, uh, we turn from their wicked ways and pray. He said that we hear their lamb. So if you see that something is not working for you, the way you want it to work, check your heart, check it. Turn away and pray. God will just hear your land. Evil anger can make you to lose a lot of good friends. No, that is just me as a person. I say it the way it is. Anybody that don't want to talk to me, anybody that don't want to stay with me, should just get out of my back. No, that will not help you. You are destroying, you are destroying yourself. Even your children seeing it, they will take it from you. They will take it from you. That's why you see some children all the time, they are angry. They are ready to fight. They are ready to throw things because some of them, not all, they see it through their parents or their mother always shouting. Always angry. No. The word of God wants us not to be angry because you are not a fool. He did not say you should not be angry because definitely people provoke you every day. But your reaction towards it, the way you take it, the way you take it far matters a lot. Yes. I always say it to people, how are you going to know that your Christianity, that your life is going as a person, is when somebody does something to you, how do you react to it? How do you react to it? 
You should not be angry. You see, when they want to stone the woman, the, 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 the prostitute woman to death, they were angry. They were so angry. They want to kill her. They want to kill her because that is the word. They just want to kill her. They don't care to know. They take a stone. They are ready to stone her to death. Because our father is a peaceful maker, he had to beg and think. That is how he said we should think. When things are happening, be calm. Be calm. You can do it. Be calm. Nobody is born like that. Be calm. When you are calm, you will see you will take a good decision. When you are calm, you will see that the way you will solve the situation, it, it will be good. But when you are not calm, you are an angry person. Your husband cannot talk to you, you take. Your wife cannot talk to you, you take. When you are fighting, you see your husband come and say, stop, you cannot stop. When you are fighting, you, you, you cannot even say, no, 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 no. I can't do this. This is, I'm too big for this. No, you want to fight. An angry person, when, when you are keeping things in the heart for long, it can destroy you because why? You will not go anywhere. No progress. Nothing, nothing. Because that anger is taking you back. That is why you must leave the angry spirit to go. Okay, now, how are you going to avoid it totally? You have to avoid it by always keeping quiet before you speak. Keep quiet before you speak. Somebody match your leg. Keep calm. Keep calm before you speak. A friend offend you. Keep calm before you speak. Keep calm before you speak. Because you are angry, your friend offend you. Know that everything he tell you about his parents, he tell you about his wife, he tell you about his, uh, his family, you utter it out. That is how the Bible calls, you see, a fool utter it all. Because when you are angry, you offer everything that they have said to you in secret about themselves. You utter it out. That kind of person, you are dangerous. And the Bible says we should not go with, with an angry person. And you, it's you are dangerous. You have to change from that way because your children, they are watching you. Your husband is not okay. In my feet that is okay. Your wife, my feet that she is okay. But it's not okay. You have to cry to God. Don't be ashamed to cry to God. Don't be ashamed to call God. God, I always react fast to things that don't really matter. God, deliver me out of this. He's going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you. Take a stroll. Jog around. Do things that makes you happy. And later, you just let it go. You must not react in everything. You must not react in everything. It's not everything that you must react. Let the word of God be our model. You see, he said, if you are angry, he said, be angry, but sin not. Let not the sun go down. But today, a lot of us are angry with people for five years, for two years, for three years, for one year, for six months, for eight months. And the word of God says, don't let the sun go down. And when you say, don't let the sun go down, that, that day must not be over before you settle it. But today, you see, we are going against the word of God. We see we are using our wisdom. No, that is not wisdom. You are going against the word of God. He said, when you want to give an offering, when you want to uh, uh, give something to God, he said, when you know that you have hurt against your brother or your sister, go back and settle it before you come back. You see, we are working against the word of God, but we say we are working with wisdom. Maybe you, you, you say, no, I'm a Christian. I'm just avoiding. I'm just, have you settled it? Have you said sorry to that person? You must be humble to say sorry. You must be humble to learn. You must be humble to be quiet. Because for you to stop anger, you have to say, God, humble me. Because it's a humble person that will be very difficult to react to something. It's the humble person that the husband or the wife will say, it's okay, it will stop. Or I will stop. But if you don't, you are not humble, you will always be angry. You will always be reacting. And anger is very, very bad. It's very, very bad. Anger, malice, all those things. The word of God says we should take them away from our life. We should take them away from our lives. Do you know that when you are angry with somebody, when, or when you are fighting with somebody, the devil will come to pull more things on your head? Ah, you could have beat her like this, you could have beaten like this, you could have told him that it's not of God, it's the devil that is bringing them. Immediately, you have to reject it. 
Reject it. When somebody offends you, if you want to speak about it, be calm. Know the time you are angry. Because the time you are angry, you start talking. You start saying a lot of things. The secret thing that that person has confided with you, an angry person, a foolish person, utter all. I am not the one to say it. It's the word of God. You have to be calm. When you are calm, later, you speak about it with love. With what? With love. You speak about it with love and settle it and let it go. And let it go. But when, when, you, are not, when you are not doing those things, God will not be pleased. And sometimes an angry person can be angry with somebody that don't even know that he's angry with her. Like for example, I, I saw a, a sister one day, she was telling me, Ah, Sister Diva, where is this woman? I said, Ah, she's fine. But the other woman was angry with her she did not even know so the day they come together the woman the other woman did not greet her she said ah sister why why are you not greeting she said please don't talk to me do you know that i'll be angry with you for this thing that you did to me last time and the woman did not even know that she do something wrong she said i'm sorry you could have just let me know that is what an angry person do they are angry even you you don't even know if they're angry that is how anger can take, that is what anger can do to you. Anger can make you to lose a good man, a good wife. Anger is very, very good. I want you, as of today, to try to stay away from it. Say, God, unborn me. It's unborness we need. It's unborness we need. Nobody, no, no, nobody that they can offend that don't want to react. But when you are humble, the moment you come to know God, you will see the grace, the peace. You will not be counting value to things that is not important. You will always want to make peace with everybody. The word of God says, you will see some people, they will say, it's not possible, you cannot be peaceful with everyone. But God said we should be peaceful with everyone. He said we should be peaceful. As the, as the children of God, we have to be peaceful. We have to be meek. And I pray, may God help us to deal with the spirit of anger so that we can go forward. Because angry spirit is very, very bad. And when your children take it from you, and it's going to be dangerous. Because why? They are the new generation. When they see what you are doing, they learn from that character, it will not be good. What The word of God wants us to go away from malice, fighting, all those things. You see, if we will take of anything, things that are good, pure, lovely, that is what we will take of. Take of. I pray, may God help all of us in the name of Jesus. I bless you in Jesus' name. Every spirit of anger in you, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. I cover your home, your family with the precious blood of Jesus. If you are looking for the fruit of the womb, you are fruitful. Our marriage is blessed in the name of Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Before we meet again, keep on bouncing in the Lord. If you have a lot of tips that will help, how to get rid of anger because it's not good. It makes you to be stagnant. It makes you to be slowful in business, in everything. It's not, not good at all. It destroys a lot of things. A lot of people have lost their marriage because of anger. Because with anger and jealousy goes together. So we should get rid of them and keep on moving forward. As a child of God, the way we are last year, we are not supposed to be that way this year. We have to change. He said the, late, the, 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 the glory of the later home shall be greater than the former. Sometimes sit down and check which character did I have last year. I have to get rid of it. Which character did I have last month? I have to get rid of it. People that are looking at you might think you have not changed. But you, you know you have changed to the glory of the Lord. Let every anger go away from you. As from today, be in charge of your life. Control it. You can do it. Control it. It's just your mindset. When it's coming, stay calm. Or go inside the room, lock the door and start praying. Start praising. You will see it will just go. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Please like, share, press the description bell so that anytime I upload, you will be the first to know if you want to contact me in any area you want to contact me. Just look at my intro. You are going to see me on Facebook, on Instagram. Okay. God bless you. I love you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Mwah.